Dear friends and colleagues, this is Dr. Seman Chilgoyal. Today I am going to discuss and show you a case of hypermature Morgagin cataract. And as the thumbnail suggests, talent versus Zepto. As you all must be knowing, there was a technology back in the days called as Zeptorexis, which used electrical currents to burn the anterior capsule and make a perfectly circular rexis back in the days it used to be a fancy technology to make these perfectly centered rexis the technology has been superseded by femto lasers making those perfectly round rexis if you go into the literature and just compare a manual ccc with a zepto or a femto the manual ccc's margins if you look under an electron microscope they are much stronger than the laser texas so it offers greater strength in the long term but it offers more control the femto offers more control to the surgeon as I've started this hypermature cataract, I want you to give some pearls of wisdom, some great tips to just go about cases like these. First tip, never, never ever keep the anterior chamber shallow in these patients. As soon as I noticed this liquefied cortex coming out of the bag, I injected some visco and just pushed the bag down the iris plane. I'm not in the habit of using uh, uh, Rex's forceps, but I at this point of time have asked my OT assistant to keep it as a standby. If condition comes and I have to salvage a Rex's run out situation. So as I have completed this rexis, tip number two, the golden tip from this video would be never ever attempt hydro dissection in cases like these. Back in my training days when I was learning, in one such case I did hydro dissection and boom, the bag split open, the interior capsule was, it ripped apart and I had nowhere to go. Ultimately, I had to put a sulcus IUL in the patient. He is doing well though, but never ever do hydro dissection in these cases. As you must be looking at the video, I have directly put some visco and started the FACO. Tip number two, you have to aspirate the cortex first with the FACO to just decompress the bag. I am aspirating and going with the phaco pedal position 3 holding the nucleus with the belly and I have not reached sufficient depth in the nucleus phaco position 3 going inside deep phaco position 2 and chop this nucleus is hard but I won't give up Faco position dialing, Faco position 3, Faco position 2 and chop. Separating manuals, dialing the nucleus, Faco position 3, Faco position 2 and chop separating maneuvers just repeat the drill fake opposition 3 going in fake opposition 2 holding the nucleus and chop separate the pieces holding the endonucleus 
trying to separate it fake opposition 3 2 split chop as the chopping steps are going on let me repeat two key steps i want you to remember never ever hydro dissect cases like these start with the phaco directly aspirate the cortex and start chopping and tip number two keep a rex's forceps for standby and always 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 keep the anterior chamber filled with visco as i've started quadrant removal i generally ask my ot assistant to increase the phaco power to continuous mode chopping is relatively easy when you are doing it in pulse or burst mode the holding of the nucleus is really easy in pulse but when you are eating denser quadrant pieces like these you can have your continuous mode to switch in and the third key step I want you to remember in these hypermature cataracts is to always use dialer when aspirating those last pieces because I don't want you to rupture the posterior capsule when there are minimal pieces left. Posterior capsule in these cases tends to be flimsy and comes up when there is post occlusion. surge post occlusion break surge as you may call it when the occlusion ends the posterior capsule tends to come up into the phaco and if you are having this sharp chopper in your left hand it can come up to the chopper and boom pc can go away just like that so as you can see i have filled the interior chamber with visco fresh visco to protect the, the endothelium and i have asked for a dialer for these last pieces gives me confidence and keeps the patient safe at the end of the day i feel you should consider every patient as your own parent and safety is number one priority The cataract is gone. The hardest part is gone. And I'll aspirate the cortex and implant the IUL. If you have to remember three key takeaway points, the first one is always keep the anterior chamber deep with adequate visco never ever do hydro dissection in white cataracts and hold the nucleus with its belly and at the end use a dialer instead of a chopper for those last remaining pieces when you do quadrant removal and that's all from my side i hope you like the videos thank you so much